Hi, and welcome to a short talk on A-level art history. So the first thing you're probably thinking is, well, what is art history, uh, considering it's not taught at GCSE? Put simply, um, art history is studying the modern and historical world through what mankind has left behind. Is art history for you? Well, I have this great quote from the Department of History of Art at Cambridge, and they say, have you ever looked at something and wondered why it looks that, the way that it does? Do you like visiting museums and galleries and thinking about objects that you see? Then art history could be for you. I've often heard students say that art history is a bit like a combination of English literature, art, history and politics. And ultimately, we are exploring the idea that a picture tells a thousand words. In lessons, we debate and discuss what message the artist is trying to communicate, discover what the artwork tells us about the time in which it was created, understand how artworks fit into the story of our history and its development, and write about what we see using visual language and academic critique. So to give you an example of what we might be thinking about in an art history lesson, this vase by Ai Weiwei, um, called the Coca-Cola vase, of which there are many, um, begs a lot of interesting questions. Why has Ai Weiwei painted Coca-Cola on a priceless historical vase from the Han Dynasty? Is this artwork a form of protest? Does the artwork make comment on contemporary fixation with brands and consumer culture? And does this artwork tell us about Ai Weiwei's political activism and his 2011 arrest? Another example that we look at on the course is J.M.W. Turner's Rain, Steam and Speed from 1844. What do you see presented in this painting? And an interesting debate about this painting, can you see the depiction of a hare? Is Turner commenting on the destructive or beneficial aspects of Britain's rapid 19th century industrialization? And why were artists of the Romantic period so obsessed with painting weather, the elements, and the power of nature? We also study architecture extensively, so those thinking maybe architecture is the route for them, this will provide a wonderful contextual um, understanding of some really important buildings. Um, Zaha Hadid's design for the Haydar Aliyev Centre um, is a really interesting structure. So we may ask, how did the Haydar Aliyev Centre make a statement about Azerbaijan's 1991 independence from the Soviet Union? How is the building like this innovative in the development of modern architecture? How does the building employ contemporary materials, design and mathematical concepts such as the Mobius Strip? So now that we've given you a little insight into maybe the kind of questions you would ask in an art history lesson, um, just to cover some more things about the course. Um, so art history is an essay based subject. You do not have to have any practical art experience. Um, it is a written subject uh, with an exam at the end. The subject is highly interdisciplinary, so students of art history may go on to study a really wide range of subjects such as history, architecture, art history, advertising, publishing, law, PPE, psychology, archaeology, English literature, politics, fine art, the list goes on. All major universities, including Oxbridge, teach art history in isolation or um, often as a joint honours if you wanted to combine with another subject. The course is um, taught across two years with two exam papers at the end, one which tests your visual analysis skills and your exploration of art based on a theme. The second looks at um, a, a two specific historical periods 
And at the moment, uh, the two that you may be studying would be modernism and also contemporary art and architecture from Britain and America. So some common FAQs about art history. Do I need to be able to draw? No. Um, it's, <laughs> you do not need to be uh, good at fine art to do art history. You obviously need to have a real love and interest in art. Uh, do I need to have studied art history or art before? No, uh, the A-level course is designed a bit like economics and politics to be taken up at lower six, so you don't need any previous experience. What skills do I need to succeed? So, a love of art, debate and opinion, I think is the most important thing. Um, you need to have an interest in improving your writing and you need to be interested in the world around you, in visual culture, in society, in politics, in history, and how all of those things tell us about the world that we live in. If you have any more questions about art history, please feel free to email me at edavison at Thank you very much.